Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. That helps. We're just going to keep going. I feel like... I don't know. Look at that. Giant finger. Finger toucher. That's what I'm going to call that. That's finger toucher rock. It touches things. All right, we want to loop around the lake. Okay. Where we saw the girls, basically. I don't know what I've been told. I'm a five and six year old. Actually, I'm like 40 something in this game, I'm pretty sure. Much pretty. That music. That does not look good at all. Like, at all. What, what? Alright, trail sign. Alright, naked girls aren't here anymore. But it sounds just as annoying. This... <laughs> the music! It, it, it's messing with my head right now. Looks like a path. Put my force ranger skills to the test right now. At least they clean. Oh, they did not clean up their beer. I have smoke still that way. I wonder if there's people who will speed run this game. Very unique music choice. Yeah, so we're, we're going the right. He's got it circled on his map. Alright. I'm wondering, how did the girls get around without rope? And why does all these anchors already set up? Questions I have. See, this is supposed to be shale. Shale doesn't look like that. It would all come sliding down as we do this. That's how shale works. You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. I mean, I assume you went through a breakup. At least that's my best guess at this stage. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Well, who'd you leave to come out here? I'm the rare breed. My heart's intact. That doesn't mean I didn't join up to get away. Mm, you know, I don't believe you. Why put on such a show? It's not a show. It's your business. Just don't lie. Maybe I'm horribly disfigured. I need an answer to that. I need an answer to that. You're not leave her. Are you? <laughs> Play your cards right and maybe you'll find out, fella. Oh, great. A missing person sign. That's... that's... How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately. With That's no Minchers being shown in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. I'm gonna find this guy. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like well, how seen you by Jonesy you Lake. were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. So bright. This is the sort of biome-based small talk so that will be bright. valuable to you as a single man. My fire starting to burn uh, like out uh, of like around here. You'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. We'll clean that up. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. 
I'll keep looking around. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Whoa. This is not good. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Ah, found my sheets! So they <laughs> did break into your tower. Looks like... Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Dear Psycho, I hope the you're fucking happy. Someone we're leaving and we're going to find the police and whatever well, and say? tell them that about how you creeped us out. Uh, it's just um, uh, it's an apology creeped for on all us. the trouble. And then well, the game good. They and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Uh, oh. Is everything okay? Can we can we put this to bed? Their camp was attacked, so. I don't think there's I'm gonna hold a on to this note. Loose. This is not a Teddy Krueger situation. Teddy Krueger. <laughs> it's Freddy. Teddy Krueger. Wait, really? Yeah, for sure. Huh. I've been saying it wrong for... For like five years. Wow, that's embarrassing. But, I mean, yeah, who knows what happened to their campsite. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could it's be very other strange. campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh, thank God I don't have to go all the way back home. Ooh, day three. Oh, fixing the window. Good man. Guy's always ducking. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. <laughs> okay, well, that gives me a good start. Just picking up cinder blocks. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever to say. <laughs> oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos as often as possible. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, dear, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Well, I have a thin mustache. Real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar, goes down across my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you a freaking Bond villain? I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff, yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I know about your eyes. Are you a Bond villain? Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Aw. Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's These guys are totally not looking for a fire. Okay, got it. That's Thank where you, she Henry. is. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. 
What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. A 20 sided dice. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. It's gotta go on the shelf. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. Day nine. Wow. I don't know if I was supposed to free roam or something there. It didn't seem like a free roam kind of thing. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were what? supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. Oh, if no. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. This is getting spooky, guys. Really, really quickly. Henry, Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hey, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Wait, sure she's not supposed fine. to be there. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. What the hell is going on? Is my guy a murderer? Am I a murderer? Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and... I I'm taking don't it want to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she, she must poop a lot. full of marijuana to function. She would poop a lot. Prunes do that. Prune juice clears your system. Hey, so... Who's Jules? I... I mean, I assume it's your ex. Uh... I, I don't mean to pry. It's just, um... How do you know that name? I haven't said anything about Julia. Um, 
Wait, is there something going on that I don't know about? <laughs> what? No. Look, a couple of weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night, and you, you were talking in your sleep, I guess. I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. Look, I really don't want to talk about her, all right? Jeez, must have been a real fuck-up. What did I just say? Oh, <sighs> uh, look, so a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Javier. He's incredible, caring, Ooh, Javier. sexy as hell. He's a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to... Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine, he'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that, it'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. <laughs> so... I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. <sighs> okay, I'll tell him. Found the supplies. Oh good. Uh, enjoy. Taking it all. Fuck them. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? I'm a dick. Hey, you didn't take all of the supply drop food, did you? Um... Because, remember, it was for a lot of people, like, five. I'm hungry. So, you did. I gotta go. <laughs> I just... <laughs> you Whoa. got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's cool. We'll change the name. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like Sounds it like there. a good idea. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. A little reticent to try it again. Well, 
Maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just. I feel like it's not lost. good for a fire like that. I know nothing about fires yeah. like this. I'm no fire watchman. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same Let's way. Let's get it on. How? I look forward what? talking to you, even if you don't feel comfortable opening up. You always can. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. I'm an asshole. We could talk. I told you guys I was going to be an asshole throughout could, the series. Um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Oh, look at that cliff hanging. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. A Can bear? you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Alright guys, well this is the end of this recording session. This planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll see everybody later. Catch me on the next episode. And as always, have a wonderful night.